Hello everyone, I'm Rohit and I'm going to present our work on augmenting Gale with behavior cloning for sample efficient imitation learning. So let's start with reinforcement learning and imitation learning. In reinforcement learning, an agent interacts with the environment to take actions which maximize its total reward from the environment. In imitation learning, the agent tries to imitate a behavior from an expert agent, which is often in the form of expert trajectories which encodes its behavior. This is useful if the reward design for a task is tough and it is easier to simply collect expert trajectories. In imitation learning, the agent may or may not use the environment dynamics. For example, in behavior cloning, the agent simply tries to map states to actions without interacting with the environment. In Gale, the agent interacts with the environment and a discriminator classifies between an expert trajectory and an agent trajectory. The reward is given to the agent based on if the discriminator is able to classify the agent from the expert. Uh, let's talk about behavior cloning versus Gale. Behavior cloning being a supervised learning algorithm is very stable. On the other hand, Gale combines two of the most unstable algorithms, RL and GAN objectives. Next, behavior cloning is sample efficient in terms of training epochs and Gale is at least as bad as the underlying RL algorithm in terms of environment interactions that are required. However, behavior cloning suffers from covariate shift due to compounding errors. Uh, in Gale, the agent can get back to the expert state distribution when it deviates from it and hence the compounding error does not happen. Finally, behavior cloning requires a lot of expert trajectories to achieve optimal performance but Gale can achieve asymptotic performance with very few expert trajectories. So behavior cloning and Gale seem to have complementary benefits. Can we get the best of both worlds? So the first way to do that is use off policy learning to tackle the sample efficiency of Gale. However, it requires delicate replay buffer manipulations and may not be an option where there may be concerns about persistent storage of data. We can also try pre-training Gale with behavior cloning. This looks like a promising alternative where the policy can be fine-tuned in the Gale stage. However, this doesn't seem to work in the context of imitation learning. For example, this paper shows that a baseline which uses behavior cloning performs worse than Gale trained from scratch. Uh, this paper shows that the models trained from scratch perform no worse than pre-trained models, although they take more iterations to converge. Similarly, other work has shown that warm shattered neural networks may not converge to optimal parameters. This provides the motivation for our method. We consider behavior cloning as an additional source of reward in addition to the Gale reward. To do that, we first write behavior cloning as the expected state action density multiplied with the log probability of the action. This, expect, this expectation is over the expert trajectories, which can be converted to policy trajectory via important sampling. The Gale term is the same log action probability multiplied with the advantage function from the discriminator. Uh, we basically take a weighted sum of these two rewards to formulate the policy gradient. Here the alpha is the weighting term uh, from 0 to 1. Now a natural question is how should we determine alpha? Setting it too high gives more weight to the behavior cloning term, which may be fast in terms of learning, but it may overfit. Setting it too low gives weight to Gale, which may be slow. However, we realize that we need high alpha only in the early stages of training. Therefore, a viable strategy is to annul alpha from 1 to 0 over time. We also provide a scheme for annulling alpha in the paper. We compare our method with five other baselines on five Mujoko environments. Our method performs consistently and converges much faster than Gale. We see the behavior cloning plus Gale baseline doesn't perform well. Uh, we also compare the effect of annulling in our method. So uh, note that as the value of alpha increases, the overfitting and suboptimal behavior increases as well. And uh, our method doesn't overfit and also does not compromise on the speed of learning. So the blue curve is our method and the other curves are with fixed values of alpha at different values of alpha. We also see the effect of using expert trajectories with a sparse signal in a grid world environment. The total reward is the sum of the environment and discriminator reward for all Gale based methods. You see as the size of Gale, as the size of the grid increases, the behavior cloning baseline performs poorly and our method performs consistently well compared to other baselines. So the red cover is our method. 
Finally, we compare our method in a high dimensional image based environment. We use the car racing environment which provides a top view of a car running on the track as its state. Uh, Gale based methods are very unstable in high dimensional environments like these, but our method surpasses every other baseline in less than 10 times the number of environment interactions, which shows the versatility of our method. Uh, more details can be found in our paper. Thank you. I'll be taking questions now.